Still, no arrests in this Fulton River neighborhood shootout. As police search for those responsible, more innocent injured bystanders are sharing their stories, like one man who was on a bicycle. He spoke only to our Dermot Terry, who joins us now live. Dermot. Erica, on the Friday night here, you can see that there are plenty of people driving, walking, and even in the bike lanes. So you can imagine just how busy it was when that shootout happened earlier this week. Tonight, I'm going to introduce you to a man who was simply riding his bike, caught in the crossfire. So I just got shot in the butt while biking to the club. It's a text message to his mother. My leg is numb, but I'm okay. Sent moments after TJ Corey realized the magnitude of what he experienced while biking this week on Milwaukee. Under the train tracks right there. And the Fulton River District. Yeah, they, were, they came up from behind me, yeah. Okay, so you're, I mean, you're just simply biking, and then yeah. the car comes up, and the next thing you know, you feel a excruciating pain. Yeah, it, it, uh, it, it, almost, it almost just felt numb immediately. Um, you know, I, I wasn't sure what had happened at first. TJ now knows he was one of five shot when people in two cars began shooting at one another. I could hear more gunfire going on kind of down past me, so I immediately just kind of got down on the ground. The shootout in the West Loop left so many frightened. TJ is one who ended up in the hospital. I, I think I'm incredibly lucky. He's out walking with pain. The bullet entered right here and it lodged, I think, up in my upper thigh. Doctors did not remove the bullet. What I've been told by the doctors is that if you're going to get shot, the butt is the place to get shot in. Um, missed everything important, so as far as what could have happened, uh, I think I was incredibly, uh, incredibly blessed. As police look for the shooters, TJ won't be riding his bicycle anytime soon, but he refuses to stay scared. It's crazy and, and sad that it happened, but uh, it doesn't change how I feel about the city or, or being here. And while TJ and others are home and out of the hospital, the same cannot be said for a Lyft passenger who was last listed in critical condition. As of tonight, no one is in custody. Reporting live, Jermont Terry. Erica, back to you. All right, Jermont, thank you.